Hello, this is Hakuna Bean, and today we are going to be tumbling again. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I just had the internet go out on me, so I'm not sure how long I'll be able to do this. Let's hope it works better this, this time around. Let's get right into this. As a graphic designer. Oh dear. The internet did not just almost do it, the same exact thing again. Anyway. This is the Age of Sin. Reject the order of creation. Revel in the annihilation of man as the image of God. Destroy. Plot the signs of death. Disfigure the face of man and woman. Yes, this is Catholic anti-trans propaganda, but it's also the lyrics to my new hardcore punk song. And that's my new symbol for gender nihilism. I think we should use the biohazard symbol instead of the radiation hazard one. Oh wow, that's way, way better actually. It's cooler and more fitting. Good point. This is the age of sin. Reject the order of creation. Revel in the annihilation of man as image of God. Destroy. Plot the signs of death. Disfigure the efface of man and woman. You know, the Bible actually never says anything about trans people at all. Like, nothing at all. It doesn't even reference them existing. There we go. A vote for art for Bart is a vote for anarchy. A vote for Bart is a vote for anarchy. <laughs> Basically, transphobes try to make a, a something a, 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 and try to make it it bad, but like we embrace that because it's so cool. Like this is so cool. People want April and Mutant Mayhem to be sexy so bad that they don't care what goes against the design, the design philosophy of the movie. Like imagine these two characters in the same movie. I asked Mid Journey in AR art platform to make April and Neil a black, and they did a better job than the animated and folks. I wonder why so many people in Hollywood are worried about AI taking over their job. See? They even used AI art. You know what stopped of the second I stopped saying? You know what? The second I stopped saying I wish I had a friend who and started being the friend who, my life has gotten 100% more fulfilling. No, legitimately, I have a tea table in my room for when the friends come over or again. Most of my friends have a key to the back door in my room. I make my friends sweaters and buy things that they mention they want. I send handwritten letters in, in the mail to my friends who, to my friend who lives a block away. I annotate a poetry books and give them gifts when it's not even a holiday. I keep extra gloves in my, my purse and jacket. It's in my car. I'm not trying to be like, oh, ho, ho, look at me. I'm such a good friend. I'm saying the second I stopped going, I wish I had friends who would invite me to tea parties. And I just hosted the tea parties myself. I still got to do the thing. I still got to see my friends. I still got to be happy with them. I don't think it's about... Not who does it. I think it's just a genuine act of caring for people and giving a little light to the environments you're in. Okay, apparently I'm not done talking about this. It's a lot of energy. I get that. Especially if you're putting in all this effort but not getting any back. But I think that's the reason no one does it. Because we're so worried we'll start doing all these things that our friends won't like it or won't be into it. So we just don't. Only last week, my friend messaged me asking if I want to go stargazing in with her. When I forgot about our weekly virtual tea party, another friend called me to ask if I wanted them to host it this week. I've been invited on hikes and picnics and pie making competitions over Zoom, and also I've started with me going out of my way to be that friend. I generally believe that the easiest answer to how do I get friends like that is to be one. 
In most cases, everyone else just follows by example, because they aren't worried they'll be wasting time and energy anymore. People will swim in the ocean, even though there are definitely many corpses in it. People will not swim in a pool with a corpse in it. Humans all have a corpse to water ratio that is acceptable for them to swim in. It's called being able to see the corpse. So if I put you in an L-shaped swimming pool and you knew there was a corpse around the corner, you'd be fine? Loving the implication that I'm a little animal and you're a scientist putting me in various bodies of water to test my corpse water ratio of tolerance. Love that implication. A vanilla soy latte is a type of three bean soup. That Gordon Ramsay face. Like 3,500 years ago, a bunch of people decided to build a tower to the sky, and now I have to worry about keeping up my Duolingo streak. Why would you blame the people reaching for heaven instead of the god who cursed them? Add that one to the list, boys. Marvel Avengers Assemble. This show is basically the headcanon of that that 2012 Tumblr had about the first movie. Hmm. Chess, but acts like a modern video game. Freaking piece of crap hitboxes. That's BS, Chess. You can't tell me I got hit there. This lazy e crap is completely unfair. <laughs> oh, slash. Person waving. Oh, seven. Person saluting. Oh, L or, or upcase I. Person raising hand. Oh, one. Person scratching head. Slash. O oh, bracket. Person stretching. Slash O oh, slash. Woohoo! Bracket O oh, bracket. Extreme stress, like, oh fuck, oh shit, stress. I interpret it bracket O oh, bracket as this. <sighs> <sighs> No, bracket O bracket triangle, levitating pizza. <laughs> Where do you get a triangle? O or Z, the person is on their hands and knees on the floor. God, what happened to them? <sighs> They're basically begging. OTL, same, but we're not close to them. My, my bad, softly pat their back or something. OR2, the person saw their hats and knees, but they've got on a fat ass now. <laughs> That's too funny. <sighs> Can't stand those dumb teenagers who insist on using a da instead of the. Because they think it's cool. Leonardo da Vinci. Seriously? It's Leonardo da Vinci, you uncultured swine. I can't believe you would insult Leonardo Deviant Art Vinci this way. <laughs> hmm. 
When I was little and I went to church, people would talk about fearing God. They would use fear to describe like a way of respecting him while understanding his power. And I never knew what that meant until I met a fucking horse. This went in a completely different direction than I thought. Is this whenever something is mentioning a horse giving them like profound knowledge or some weirdly profound supposed knowledge? I'm just thinking, is this did this happen in Bojack Horseman? Like, I did not watch the series completely through yet. I watched a lot of it, but not the entire thing, not yet. And that series is depressing, and it's really hard to complete it. <sighs> it's really funny when people who enjoy content that's easy, easy to consume think think they're, they're somehow oppressed for this reference, even though the entire inter entertainment industry caters to it. You're not oppressed reading mediocre or, or romance books that can be found on the as seen on book talk t all at Barnes and Nobles or enjoying MCU movies. You're actually the core audience that keeps three million and and, and dollar of monopolies afloat. I want to live in the world where these people are actually oppressed. Well, imagine going to the movie theater and there's like tons of of thoughtful mid-budget movies made, and all the romance novels at the bookstore contain an intricate narratives and complex characters. Come on now. <clears throat> Some guy says he likes MCU movies, and he instantly gets beaten to death by a gang of pretentious snobs that roam the streets like wild animals. Your vision for the world is beautiful. Honestly. Uh... <laughs> Frederick Meyer, for any people on the autism spectrum, it is not. It's not recommended to offer to kill someone sad, especially if you're talking to a stranger. May I please have more context? Sometimes dads are terrible and should die, and you could console people by offering to rid them of this troublesome parent. But you should be friends with the person before making the offer. How the fuck are we supposed to make friends if not through gestures of patricide? Unknown. I'll provide updates if I ever figure it out. <sighs> really hate to say this, but reading Naruto did an irreparable damage to some of y'all's social and mental development. Cringe culture is dead. Let people have fun, even if that fun has 2012 Tumblr vibes. <laughs> One time, when I was 13, a Naruto a weeb tried to ask me out at a summer camp by singing the Naruto a theme with new lyrics related to how sexy I was. And when I politely declined, he ran outside and screamed so hard he shit himself. That was his jutsu. You were too polite. You should have been like, dude, that was the most cringe crap I have seen all day. Get the heck away from me. My friend's little brother, nonverbal, you sign people's shoes if you like the person, because it meant they had to stay longer. The more difficult it was to find your shoes, the more he liked you. One day, my cousin came over and she was a bitch. When it was time to leave, my friend's brother handed her shoes directly to her, and she went on and on about how he must have a crush on her because he only helped her. Aww. 
Aren't you sweet? You got, got me my shoes. Get off my property. I hope Barbie is so good and successful, it makes every executive that's turned everything bright and fun unmade for young girls into edgy, boring teen dramas for the last 10 years while 10 years to combust into flames. This is about Wings on Netflix, and also all the thrilling adventures of Sabrina, Fate the Wings on uh, uh, and Powerpuff Girls. It got cancelled, but still, Barbie, Barbie movie. I got fired. This is the dude that hired the clown! I love that you just get to say this is the dude that hired the clown and everybody every immediately knows what you're talking about. I mean, not many people hire clowns. About to be sacked from work. Can I have a- can I hire a clown to support me in my meeting? I fucked up at work, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be sacked. They even invited me in for a meeting where they're going to sack me. They told me I could bring someone to support me. I will hire clowns to support me. I'll give them to blow balloon animals and to mime stuff. Can I do this? Can they stop me? Man, and being fired brings emotional support clown to meeting. <laughs> <laughs> My German fucking hate is great when he was a baby. The point when he would cry his eyes out with a, a treat and bone while I took a 20 minute shower. But out of nowhere, a couple months after ago, he started sleeping in his crate all the time during the day. So I wish you the best of luck. I know you probably just forgot to type Shepherd. <laughs> But I'm in tears of picturing you desperately trying to put a small German boy in a crate. Oh my god, they're putting me in the crate. Ethan Goggin. Don't expect me to do German while I'm still laughing my eye butt off right now. That is too funny. Whew. <sighs> Fucking the weed man for or weed. Fucking the text man for or text. Fucking the milk man for milk. Fucking the egg man for robots who trounce that pesky porcupine. You want to do what with me so you can thwart Sonic? Why yes, I think we could come to an agreement. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Please, could you all? Oh, I can't do. Hang on. Please. No. Frick, how do you have a Carmen voice? I was gonna do my normal voice. Please, could you always wear your pants in the office? Okay, Mr. Naked. Guys, as together in three words. This fucker gave me nightmares to turn me off from Ninja Turtles for five years. What the heck? My wife is constantly mocking me for how lightly done I like my toes. Your hot bread is done, she says to me. Disgusting. I don't say that. Hot would imply it's been in the toaster for more than 15 seconds. Your lightly warmed bread is done, I tell you. One of these days, I'm not even going to put it in the toaster. Just going to breathe real hard on the bread for a minute. 
and you'll be like, wow, wow, this is perfectly done. Thank you so much for warming up my bread for me, honey. I'm so glad we're married. I love you. I say to you every time your mean little ass makes toast for me. <sighs> and this new form, Smokescreen, that took on a new name. Now he was hoist, despite the fact that with his new excavator alternative mode, he no longer had a winch with which to hoist anything. They had a, a one job, man. <laughs> Poor hoist. Momento Mori Ring, England. Late 17th century to early 18th century. You could put a skittle in there. Wasn't a ring like this meant to be used to carry a little poison? Ah, but consider. You could put a skittle in there. Yes. Oh, Gaiman. Neil Gaiman interviews on Tumblr. Let's see. Hmm. I recall you making the comparison at least once that Twitter is to blogging like crack cocaine is to a nice glass of wine. Or something to that effect. I was wondering what comparison your Tumblr experience would elicit, or would Tumblr kind of fall under the generic blogging umbrella? Tumblr is junk food. It's mostly really nice junk food, though. Like the kind of chocolate that comes packaged and wrapping that points out that nobody was enslaved or murdered to bring in this chocolate. And the trees were planted, and anyway, co Oka oh, is an, an antioxidant. So you can and absolutely almost forget that at the end of the day, you're still scoffing chocolate. Ascending evil, climbing skeleton. <laughs> For 189 measly dollars, you can have this little gay boy climbing up your wall. My goodness. The hands press up against the wall, uh, seductive over the shoulder. Or look, what the frick? Oh, um, guys, I don't think he's climbing. Need someone to do this to me. His ass is not climbing. This just gets funnier. The uh, uh, more delayed it, it comes on to, the longer it takes to uh, come to you. On my way to raid area 51, guys. This is terrible, and I recognize that. The longer it takes for this to come across your dash, the funnier it is. <laughs> <clears throat> the women in my Bluetooth headphones sounds mad at me. Power on, connected, like, sorry for bothering you, ooh queen. Woman sharks, I still love sharks as she's pulled from sea after being bitten by one. Me, if this ain't me, me bleeding profusely from a missing leg as I'm being dragged down to the beach. This was a statistically unlikely occasion. If the shark wanted me dead, I would be dead. Sharks are important for their ecosystems. I do not condone for any attempts to hunt this shark. If an animal kills me, that was on me. It caught me slacking. 
Leg me. I freaking love Tumblr. Our generation is great. And Tumblr is just proof of that. Oh dear lord. Right, it's proof that there are some people in our generation that still are not as great as the rest of our generation can be. I'll never understand why anthropomorphic egg animal cartoons like Robin Hood and Zootopia will go through the trouble of creating character designs that are meant to be understood as attractive or even sexy to the human audience, but explicitly avoid showing interspecies ro romances between anthropomorphic animals. Why is that weird, but like, try to make rabbits recognizably sexy code to humans, is it? I will be real. It is pretty odd that uh, uh, they uh, did it uh, intentionally make a, a Judy Hops of sexy code to humans, but then uh, and they're treating um, Judy Hops and uh, Nick getting together as weird, like like no, you can't just do that. It's a racism, is ain't it? Sometimes, sure, but why was Maid Marion a fox in Robin Hood? There wasn't anything particularly fox-like about her, her personality, it would make more sense for her to be a lion. They made her a fox only because Robin was a fox, to make her something else would be weird. But I don't think the wolf cop or the chicken made her the lion prince were actually re meant to represent race. The best interspecies couple is Kermit and Miss Piggy, as the a, a Cratchit's a Muppet, a, and a Muppet Christmas Carol, because all their sons are frogs and all their daughters are pigs, as God clearly intended. There are only two genders, frog and pig. I point out to my friends that the fact that Kermit and Miss Piggy's kids are like that means either one, they reproduce asexually and the children are clones of each parent. Or two, Kermit and Miss Piggy are members of the same sexually dimorphic species, hence the split between their male and female children. Yes, I have spent too long running about out on potential Muppet biology. Oh god. Third option, when they want kids, they get some fabric and make one and hope a hand inhabits it. Do you think there's a ritual for inviting an inhabiting hand to possess the empty husk of your Muppet baby? What are you two fucking talking about? <laughs> Just wanted to show you guys that Muppets Most Wanted Piggy fantasizes about her Kermit and Kermit having babies so this is what they look like. So do with that what you will. Recall that in The Great Muppet Caper, Kermit and Fozzie are brothers and this was their dad. Right. I kind of guessed. Thank you for specifying which one of the two individuals in the picture was a dad. I, for one, think Shrek handled into species is coupling the best. By this, I am, of course, talking about the drunkies. Drunkies. The drunkies are a hybrid of both dragons and Donkeys. Namely, Dragon and Donkey. There are six Drunkies at the end of the movie. Dragon arrives greeting Donkey, and behind her came six Drunkies. Donkey refers to them as his little mutant babies. What are you two fucking talking about? 
<sighs> In season 3 of Bojack Horseman, we learned Diane, middle, has been impregnated by Mr. Peanut left. The feces are confirmed to be puppies. This is the worst addition to this post. I'm reminded of Treasure Island, in which Captain Amelia left an extraterrestrial anthropomorphic cat had hybrid babies with Dr. or Doppler Middle, an extraterrestrial anthropomorphic dog, who also gave birth to the babies. I always thought that in the Muppet movies like Muppet Christmas Carol, the characters are played by the Muppets, so Kermit is acting and playing the role of Bob rather than being him, so the kids in that film would just be other Muppets, right? Or is that just something my brain made up? What the fuck are you two talking about? Last time I saw this post, yesterday, it stopped at the second Eggman. Beep boop. Last time I saw this post, yesterday, it stopped at the second Eggman. Beep boop. I look for accidental haikus. Sometimes I mess up. And when this thread spoke weed? In Leo the Lion 2005, a lion and elephant have the most cursed hybrid children, and I think y'all should see them. Also, Matt Mercer voice is the villain, Max was an elephant, and I think that's very important. What are you two fucking talking about? Yes, I gave Eggman a demon voice. I was too freaking deep fried not to. I think that what they are talking about is perfectly clear. Amogus. Amogus. Okay, it ended terribly, but up until the Amogus, it was good. Please, stop with the Amogus memes. Just in general. If you work a tip of um, literally make up a silly name for yourself, people will think you're so much more charismatic and personable for the exact same service. People are so much nicer and tip me better when I say my name's Melon. They freaking love it. All I gotta say is, yep, that's my real name. My parents are huge hippies. I know, freaking insane, right? Freaking stupid. With a straight face, especially the old people, they have to fan themselves and get so excited. If you deal with a ton of unbearable older white men and or normal dog owners, call yourself Maverick. While older white men, you will hate with older white men, you will hijack their brains into toxic masculine and nostalgia, typically about either Top Gun or some old cowboy show, and they will adore you from the childhood boyish part of themselves that want desperately to be named Maverick as well. With dog owners, you have a one in and 20th chance to have the same name as their dog. I've been trying not to call all people mean names when I get into arguments, and now my default when I get a little frustrated is to say babe, which as you might understand is not particularly conducive to customer service. I had a guy piss me off so badly yesterday I called him baby girl. For reference, I have a scrawny 19 year old girl wearing too much eyeliner, and he was a four year old old man in an American flag Carhartt jacket. We were both so surprised the disagreement just ended right there. <laughs> oh, baby girl, you have no idea of what you're talking about. What's like in traffic, thirsty, dying, etc. So I ripped open a Capri Sun with my teeth because, you know, one hand on the wheel and sucked the entire thing dry in 10 seconds flat only to glance at my right hand and see a young man staring at me in the next car horrified. <laughs> at least you weren't distracted driving. 
I don't just love when the unnerving images is on, on, on pop up. Oh well. I'll live. Oh. Guess I won't live. Oh no. They sent me to the a shadow realm. I can't go there. I'm not allowed. <sighs> okay, this is weird. Bitch, I will scissors you. Sorry, I'm not lesbian. How do I download friends? www.download-friends. Mm -hmm, that's not legal. Don't don't you dare go to that site. They've got all ten seasons. What the fuck is going on in this post? I just love when pictures just stop loading. I think this is a sign that I need to stop. Okay, yeah. That was r slash Tumblr. I tumbled a bit too much and got to the void where pictures just stopped loading entirely. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no clue what I'll be doing tomorrow, but until then, goodbye!